Dropshipping is a kind of online business. You know, uh, whatever you might be thinking that can be used, uh, that can be for business, you can find it online. So uh, depending on specializations, depending on what you specialize in or what is your interest, you may find you might you you might find it somewhere uh, being sold by someone. That someone being a website. So there are big websites that are specialized in different things. For instance, eBay specializes in um, online uh, online uh, online uh, auction. Right, uh, Amazon specializes in whatever you may think. And uh, Alibaba, the same. There are also some other, th other sites like, uh, like Snapdeal. Who, know, who knows about Snapdeal? Snapdeal is actually an Indian site. But, uh, not as big as uh, Alibaba or as Amazon, but also it's, it's big. And uh, Alibaba has sales in... Uh, in a snap deal so they buy they they sell uh, cheap things but with good quality with good, you 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 can find whatever you want at uh, at uh, snap deal there's uh, jadong who knows about jadong it's also india so these are asian asian uh, asian websites so drop shipping means what drop drop shipping the let, let's suppose uh, at one side there's the, the producer. It might be a manufacturing company, being in China, being in US, being in Europe, or even in Africa. That's the starting point of whatever business you might think, right? So then you have a wholesaler. A wholesaler may, may be uh, a big company based in China, where retailers, we go, retailers, we go to the, those wholesalers who themselves bought these things from manufacturers, yeah? So now, when you buy from wholesaler, you become a retailer. So drop shipping is like retail shop. It's a retail store that you have online, that uh, you have to market it. As uh, as uh, as uh, Mr. Atta was teaching us, you have to market it like Alibaba markets itself. Like so you have to market it for it to be visible, so that it can get uh, influence, so that it can get visited by as many as uh, uh, clients. That so mine is this one. Whenever you want things that I sell, you are. You have a warm welcome. I'm new. Uh, I came here as a uh, as I told you. I came here as a, as a beginner. I'm in the business only since three months, but I wanted more to learn than to to speak. Right. So I learned. I learned a lot, and I expect to keep learning. I don't know if you have question about what I've been presenting. Or I don't know if I've been as, uh, as uh, comprehensive as possible. Maybe English is not my first language. My first language is Kinyarwanda. My second one is French. Third one is Swahili. And fourth one is uh, English. So I tried my best. Any question? Shall I go back and sit? Any question? Thank you. Uh, so, how to join dropshipping business? 
it depends on what is your interest. There are niches. For instance, let's say you want you want to specialize in high tech. You have to know which which sites are specialized in high tech. Uh, suppose that you are interested in books and movies. First of all, you you want to know what site is specialized in movies. Uh, let's say you are spe you, you want to specialize in cloth. For instance, Snap Deal. Uh, Alibaba, Amazon are uh, specialized in, 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 in those. So it depends on what you are interested in. And then you may even go and do app dropshipping or Amazon dropshipping at Google. You may be directed, Alibaba, Snapdeal, and whatever. So it depends on your interest. Yeah. Any other question? Actually, I'm coming to join you there. Yes. So, Adim <laughs> is the expert. Yes. Uh, myself, I just want to contribute to his topic. The topic is his. But myself, I'm contributing on how to do it with WordPress. Yes, uh, someone asked a question about SSL certificate. Uh, because that's one key requirement if you are going to do this, this type of business or if you're going to support him with this type of business. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want us to applaud Joseph. Uh, when I met him, I told him this is a very good product. If uh, you can scroll down the website. Let's see. So his website, it's neatly done. You might think it's an Amazon. It's an... Uh, it's an Alibaba, it's neatly done. And uh, there are three things you, you need to know about an e-store. If you are thinking of selling an e-store, there are three things. One, security, products, payments. So, if, and those are three things you can't compromise with. The products, uh, we are talking of the quality and the suppliers. So he's going to tell us how he controls the quality, how he controls the suppliers. Okay, how to control the quality? The quality depends on yourself, first of all. Well, depending on your, your niche. Uh, for you, you have, you have to be a little bit expert in what you are doing. Let's suppose you are interested in tech, tech objects. You have to know tech objects, what they are. What, what tech with good quality, what tech with bad quality, what tech with average quality. So that depends on you. Now, but suppliers, that's an, another thing. Suppliers, you have to be very, very careful about suppliers. Normally, suppliers online, they are, they are, uh, they are rated. Uh, rate, uh, rating depends on how, how the supplier uh, uh, responds to requests. So when the supplier normally uh, when the supplier is rated less than 90 percent means that he does not he does not meet 90 percent of requests of uh, of, yeah, of client requests mean that one you have to, to forget about him above 90 percent he's a good supplier yes actually that's a good answer so that's how he manages to control the quality because <laughs> With such a store, if you, comp if you compromise on quality, if I come to your store, I might not come back. And uh, such stores, the likes of Amazon or Alibaba, they have grown because of the returning customers. You want someone to buy today, tomorrow they buy something else, or even the same thing, or like that. Yes, uh, myself, I'll tell you how this is possible. Uh, who has heard of WooCommerce? Yes. So WooCommerce is a simple plugin that makes all this possible. From rating a product to adding a product, adding product description. It has payment integration of MasterCard, PayPal, uh, the shipping integration. So it's, you just need one plugin, by the way, WooCommerce. And uh, if we had time, I would take you through installation. But what we shall have uh, I can meet you one-on-one, -on -one, then we'll take you through the integration of 
this WooCommerce. So I see what he has here is WooCommerce. Most of most of the things. So maybe I want to ask him a question. Or anyone who wants to ask him a question before I ask him. <laughs> Thank you. My question is, I don't really understand where, what is the difference between e-commerce and drop shipping as a website? Good question. There's no difference. There's no difference. So uh, drop shipping is also e-commerce. Drop shipping is a kind of e-commerce. You know, e-commerce, there's a wide range of e-commerce. For instance, those publishing sites, uh, gaining money from uh, publicity, that's e-commerce, ej.com, New Times, that's uh, okay. Not, not as, not e-commerce, but there's two, mainly, two kind of e-commerce, B2B or B2C. B2C, B, B2B means it's business to business. For instance, go to Alibaba. You will see wh when you click on the site Alibaba. Now Alibaba has sent to be B2B. You'll see a product, let's say Canon, that kind of, uh, that kind of, uh, yeah. So you'll see if you want to, you click on that item, you see that you have to buy at least 1,000 items, not less than 1,000, that's B2B. You cannot buy 1,000 items of such a thing for consumption. It's for business, so that's B2B. There's also B2C. B2C means uh, business to consumer. So main, uh, main uh, websites are business to consumer. This uh, dropshipping is a kind of business to cons consumer. So now I told you there are wholesalers let, let's say this B2B, they are wholesaler websites. Huh? But let's say, like, when you click, when you click uh, at, uh, what is the name? It's a Indian one, Snapdeal. You can go to Snapdeal. You see, that's a B2C. Means that you can only, you can buy uh, a number of items but it is dedicated to consumers. That's a B2C. So this kind of dropshipping, they are B2C business, but they are not wholesaler because you are not, you are, you, you are not linked directly to the manufacturer. You are, they are, no, no, they are, they are, they are, they are retailer. You are linked to the wholesaler. You have your short markup, the wholesaler has his own own, own, own markup, and the, uh, the, all those markups are related to the uh, to the first price, which is manufacturing price. Are you okay with that? Any other question? Uh, my other question is, how do you manage? Uh, it's uh, uh, what is it called? Amazon calls it. Is it fa facility center? Facil How do you manage the inventories? How do you manage your inventory? Like, let me say you have a watch. If I ordered this watch today, how do you get me that exact watch? Uh, and before I finish, and let me say I've ordered this watch. I know in the beginning it might be easy because you, let me say you have few orders. But what happens when in a single day you have a thousand orders of that watch after you've grown? How do you manage it? Okay, good question. It uh, that, that depends on how big you are becoming. Let's say you have, uh, you have uh, 10 orders per day or 50 orders per day. It's easy to manage. When, when I get your request, you have paid for it, I can see it. Me, myself, I go and make the order directly to the supplier. So the supplier will see your address, not mine. Your address, your location, your payment. He'll have his markup. Me, I have my small markup. 
right? And then you have an ID for that trick, that, 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 uh, that item. And the tracking, it's called tracking ID. We will be able to see where it is. Uh, how many days still to, to get to you. That, that item still to get to you. And whatever, whatever. But when now, when it's becoming the the the, the as 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 you are becoming big, as your site is becoming uh, very known, let's say you have ten thousand visitors, and from those ten thousand visitors, uh, five thousand are buying. So now it becomes tricky. So uh, there are some uh, drop shipping, drop shippers. Who, for who it is automatic. As soon as uh, with no, it depends on plugins. Uh, new plugins are, are made in the way that as soon as you have paid and your payment is secured, directly the supplier can see that you with your name with your identification, you have bought you have bought this item, and uh, he can have his markup, and directly he can pro he can process the order. But now, many plugins, as they exist now, they are not made in a way that uh, uh, the, the 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 shipment is done automatically. So you have maybe to have some some people helping you on daily basis. That's how it, it becomes like an, an, an enterprise. Yeah. That's when the money is enough. Yes. <laughs> okay, actually, that's a good question. Uh, sorry, a good answer to, to the question. Uh, again, I like the layout. My last or oh, simple question is, how do you make your initial buyers come back? your shop the first thing is to honor your orders suppose that X has bought X has bought uh, a watch a watch as Arthur taught us there are many many ways of making your first buyers coming back. How? First of all, is by SEO. Second, is by something called social rabbit. Are you aware of, of social rabbit? It means that when you have come to my site and you have bought, you will be having advertisement of new things that are coming to my site. Do you get it? Yeah. Actually, yes. Uh, my other. It's not a question, it's an addition to that. Uh, where the world is going to now, people are going to business intelligence. So WooCommerce, if now this happens if you are an advanced user, you can now customize your WooCommerce, or you can, uh, you can, you can how can I say, you can improve your services to have now business intelligence. Now in that, from the dashboard, he will be able to detect which pro product is highly bought or you'll be able to detect to detect what time do that do these clients or what time does this specific client visit my shop okay so you know when to advertise to him or and when he advertises which product does he visit which product does he visit and compare with related products meaning he has still not yet made up his mind on that product but he wants it so that is business intelligence. It's, it's good for you as the owner of the store. Okay, but it's not good for the consumer because you make him pay when he even doesn't want to pay, but for you in business. Okay, so for you as the owner, it's, it's a serious, it's like reverse psychology. It's a serious marketing tool for your shop because it's business intelligence. It reads the user's mind. It knows at this time of the day, this guy, always checks about, okay, at this time of the year, this guy always looks for a laptop, meaning his laptops always get spoiled between this time of the year. So you know when to advertise to him a laptop charger, you know when to advertise to him a laptop, laptop earphones, 
you get the add-ons. Also, business intelligence helps you to understand which add-ons can a specific add-ons. product. Maybe like the casing of the watch, where you can keep the watch before you rest, or the glass wipe. So these are small add-ons. It can be like it can be like uh, fifty do, not five do, one dollar or fifty cents. Okay, but imagine you're selling a thousand of them, not something heavy. So this guy he finds it and it's he he has already he already has an Amazon account where his his credit card is already attached. So he finds he finds buying that book of one dollar like the way you go to a street a, a street to get some candy. You get. So imagine Amazon just targets 10,000 people spending that $1 in one hour. Amazon has made itself $10,000. Okay, uh, that's approximately 9 million Rwanda francs. Okay, so that's the logic. Make something cheap. What is not cheap, sell it with very cheap add-ons. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. He has a question for you. Thank you. Uh, I like the way this site looks like. It's very, very, very good. Thank you. And I can even say congratulations. Thank you. But uh, I'm very curious to hear from you if this uh, fully WordPress site. Yes, a WordPress site. Really? Yes. Okay, and um, I'm asking myself, how do you use to manage pricing? Because uh, if I catch it well, uh, uh, I heard that this is more like a bridge that leads client to the store, right? So I would like to ask you if, uh, I mean, how do you use to manage the price with a product that you don't have in your store? Thank you very much. Yes, it's as in any other business. You have to mind competition. So, the same watch or the same cup, the, the, the same hat can cost differently depending on, on, the, on the seller, right? So, it's up to you. What do you need? High-end products with uh, very high prices or average products with average prices or simple products with the simple prices, or both of them, right? So now, about markups, I cannot disclose. That's mine. You can understand. That, that's where everything lies. So about markup, but uh, what I can tell you, you have the right to put any markup, depending on you, on your target audience. Yes. It's like in any business. You can go to Kwarwangura, you find the same hat at 5,000. Same. And just nearby, you find the same hat uh, for 10,000. For three times the price. So it depends. Right? Yes, Arthur. Sure, sure. Uh, but not as per now, because I'm still doing some improvements, like you can see that one. I'm still improving it. So as soon, uh, I, I, I hope by the end of November, it will be int- integrated with Facebook, with, uh, with uh, Instagram, with uh, whatever social media. Because that's where money is. I also like the the website design, <coughs> your site, uh, and I want to know how how do you do to to add products? It's just simple, like to write a WordPress post or. There is a plugin to import, for example, products and price or, or what? I don't know. I, didn't, I want to know how, how you do it. Uh, 
It depends on the plugin you have. And plugins keep changing, keep updating. So depending on the plugin you have and uh, on the, on the uh, items you are selling, so let, let, let me say it depends mainly on the plugin you have. Uh, the plugin will direct, will direct you to products. You choose among those products which one you want to sell online and then apply your markup and then make them visible as you can see them there. I think uh, everyone is satisfied and uh, I thank you for following me. Thank you. But he has ended up teaching us. <laughs> yes, so we shall work together in the last few minutes, one on one, to see how uh, we can we can help him improve his his e-commerce. We help everyone improve their website. Otherwise, I think he marks the end of the of today's presentations, unless someone wants me to talk about something. Is there anyone who feels like there's something we've not talked about and you feel you need to hear more about it? That's okay. Monetization. Anyone? Okay. Yes, uh, he has asked me to speak about ads. Yes. Uh, may, many people who have published our websites here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there's also a gentleman who came yesterday and he, he has not come back today. He also has a good uh, publisher website. An example, this is, a, this is an example of a publisher website, I think. This one. So you're looking for how you monetize your content with, with what? With WordPress. Yes. And the first thing to, before you go to, because me, I like getting to the foundation. Before you manage to look for ads, first know, do you have people who see these ads? Because that's what you sell to your client. And then two, also for him, in his model as a drop shipping company, you can also get money from ads. There are people who say, I'm not selling a product on your website, but I need my banner there. Okay? Let me say, his, now, for example, his website, uh, Bank of Kigali can easily put their visa, visa card advert on his website because they know people who want to purchase from his website might need either Visa, PayPal, or MasterCard. Okay? So, first of all, knowing who are your target clients, who do you want who do you want to advertise on your website? And who are their clients? That's your second question. For example, if my client is a, if my target client is Access Bank, okay, who are Access Bank's clients? The people who have accounts with Access Bank. Okay? After knowing what the, these people, after knowing the, my client's client, I have to know now the interests of my client's client. So you work backwards, okay? So before even I get to how you have the ads there. Step two, you get content that appeals to your client's client. Not to your client, to your client's client. Let me say my, an example. Neo, if Neo Cafe is my client, I don't advertise to Neo Cafe. I advertise to Neo Cafe's consumers, people who have their coffee at Neo Cafe. So my content should make his clients happy, not him. Okay. If his clients are happy, they'll be able to see his banner and buy his coffee. You get me? Because the first thing, before even you get banners, you need to know that, uh, sorry, before you get banners, you need to know that these banners will in turn make money for your clients, okay? Like branding. Yes, for example, do you have a publisher website? Oh, okay. If you had one, I would give you an example. For example, if, let me say, Brand is selling dresses, okay? If, you, if she's selling dresses and she's targeting people who are, people who are, who like pink dresses or people who like long silk dresses. 
So she will now, one, optimize her content to appeal to those clients. For example, I like, I like, having, I like engaging people. Help me give a mic. For example, as a lady, what do you look for when you are shopping? I think um, what I look for when I'm shopping, the kind of maybe dresses, um, what's glittering. So, for example, if she's looking for glittering dresses, so she's a client to a factory that makes glittering dresses. So, step two. Uh, now my content has to have enough traffic. <laughs> you, you get me? I'm, my step two is to ensure that my, cl my client's posts are going to be read. For example, uh, okay, this is not the best example of the posts. For example, if, let me say, I want to get clients for Access Bank, my post should be about managing finance, okay? I can write a post about managing finance. I ensure it's read. Because when you go to your client, they will ask you, how many users do you have? How many readers do you have to your website? Okay. How long do these readers spend on your website? So let me show you something. How many of us have Google Analytics added to our websites? Yes. So before, yes, before you get, uh, okay, the biggest way of, the easiest way of getting ads to your website is Google Ads. Have you been able to add Google Ads to your website? Okay, so we, within your console, because for you to add Google Analytics, you come up with a console, okay? So there's an analytics console, and there's also a Google Ads console. You get me? Yes, so this Google Ads is, now Google gauges the traffic you're having and where it's going, and then they give you a banner. You get me? So then they give you a banner, but they give you, they, are, they give you like, let me say four types of banners. And then they ask you, where do you put, they, they ask you to choose where you put, where you want to put the banners. Okay. Uh, now like, for, for example, in this show, in this slide, it's showing an example of a Google Analytics dashboard, okay? It's also showing the clicking rate, a clicking rate of, if let me say we put a banner on your website, how many people will click the banner on this specific position? Or how many people will not click this banner? Or how long do people spend looking at this advert if it's a video, okay? So, other than Google Ads, there are many other, like I will take you through, there are many other ads, providers online, there are many. But Google Ads is the easiest. Once you crack Google Ads, and you gain capacity for, you gain capacity to run yourself ads, you can run your ads as a person, okay? You can run your, you can do your content and then meet these clients yourself. But you need serious traffic. You need like, on a daily basis, you need to get 10,000 visitors a day. <laughs> Yes, before a serious company vis uh, chooses to advertise with you. Because they will, ask, they will not ask you for how, how many visitors and you say you get 200 visitors. You need, they will need to know I have like, let me say 30,000 vis unique visits a day. What's their age demography? Okay, they go through those analytics. Yes, so the first, your first step is harvesting your analytics. Then advertise with Google. When you advertise with Google, you know which banner positions work for you. Like I can take you through if you have the website I show you. Which banner positions work for you? After you've known the banner positions that work for you, now this is when you go face to face to this uh, company. And then you say, I have this banner. In the last month, 30,000 people clicked on this banner, okay? So that's what you're selling to them. You can't just tell them, I'll put my banner on your, I'll put your banner on my website. They need to know how many people will click on that banner. You see, even his website, and it's one thing I wanted to tell him, even Mr. Joseph on his website, he should reserve a part where he will have a banner, okay? Because, so with that banner, 
even though people are not buying things, you're still making money from it. Whenever someone clicks on the banner, let me say you're selling watches and, you, and, and uh, you, you've not yet got a supplier for phones, okay? Just put a banner for iPhone. Let me, so someone who wants iPhone and comes to your website will get that banner. So when he clicks and goes to that banner, it even helps you get an, a, a negotiation for the iPhone supplier. You tell him, hey, I've brought you, let me say, 100 clients this week, okay? Now that I've brought you 100 clients this week, why don't we discuss on this and this rate? I think that's it. We can go through your website and we show you, I will show you how to do it. That's it, any questions? Thank you.